Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Minecraft with those nice people from Team Tuxedo. Now, last episode, if you remember, I said that um, disaster had struck. But uh, the Arcadia server was no more. We couldn't get it back even of looking at backups, and we were going to have to create a new world. Would you like to see it? Well, here it is. Yes! Mike, and hats off to Mike, he found something even the uh, the Minecraft server tech support people couldn't find. He found a solution to the problem. He, he worked out the reason why it wasn't working correctly, fixed it, and here we are back again. We are back in Arcadia. I have my newly decorated living room back the way it was. The coffee stand is brewing and everything is looking pretty good with one unfortunate exception and that is I can't find the chickens both Gerald Gullen and Farfetch'd appear to be no more I'm hoping that they're out in there somewhere but I've searched and I've searched and I've searched and there's a pig on that roof I just can't find them so that's a bit unfortunate, but to be totally honest with you, I'm really happy to have this place back again. It's so nice to to have it back, even though I now have to uh, redecorate this floor. It's just nice to have this here. So let's go for a tour. It's been a little while since the last time I was here. So let's go and see what has changed in the meantime, and if we have some time afterwards... Uh, perhaps I'll start a little bit of a build but uh, the first thing I've been spending all day doing this running up to chickens and looking at them to see if the name appears above them and so far they haven't uh, so far it looks like somebody else is building in the village not just myself and it looks like they've made themselves a nice big house too and I think possibly there's going to be another floor on top there otherwise it might just be that this house is supposed to have horns, I don't know. But, yeah, it's looking pretty smart. Um, I'm willing to bet the village library is lacking a few books now, but that's what they're there for. The uh, train station is still an ongoing project. I do like what they've done with this place, though. It looks really good. I had an idea. I had an idea. I'll do that uh, later on, but I had an idea. Uh, nope, you're not the chicken I'm looking for. A pig and a chicken, all facing... There's something... Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think the chicken was embarrassed. He, he saw me looking the same way as the, ch the pig was. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... What else have we got? I think that's it for the village. So let's head out of the village because there's been quite a few changes and I'm really impressed with a lot of them. Um, the first one here, obviously, is Die Die Die, which is such a pretty shade of pink and purple. And I quite like this. This was made by... Um, Mod and Murtai, and it's going to be their die shop. And I've already promised Murtai that I'm going to be uh, a customer here. Thank you for visiting Die Die Die. They got cash register there. So what's the book say? Pricing list by Murtai. Okay, so thank you for visiting Die Die Die. Inside you will find the pricing list. Prices subject to change one cactus per die gray line pack oh that's okay that's nice i like buy a lot of black um one lapis per die blue okay well light blue is actually a, a good deal you need one lapis to make a blue but you need a lapis and um bone meal to make light blue so that's a slight bonus thank you for come, using die 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 please come again so right see what colors they've got at the moment and 
yeah I will be back later on with some cactus to make some payments there I think um, and looking at my armor it's getting a touch worn so it looks like I have to replace a lot of it soon what else do we have here I don't know that there's much going on down here except for looks like Squizzy has taken up my uh, jack-o-lantern lighting idea on his hedge it's, it's looking pretty good and Squizzy's juices are open for business and here's Whipstitch with her kill and grill so leather walls rabbit hide please pay here Ooh, looking good um, I'm going to be making a cooked chicken uh, factory another clucking good chicken but uh, I've already made a deal to uh, to buy the chicken off a of whip stitch so um, I'm going to be making I'm actually what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a chicken um, factory machine for her if I can work out and do it and keep them alive and her house I, I've got to be honest with you whip is a fantastic designer I love what she's done with this place that's looking really really good so yeah more power to her it's a nice little tree lined avenue here and Squizzy has changed his name to Squiznuts well, to each their own I suppose and how do we have down here okay this is where I'm going to be building my shop so clucking good chicken here will go here and mobs bits will go here still got this nice big drop here for the mob drop yeah quite vertigo inducing really isn't it so let's get out of there see what else is going on because there is some there's uh, some lighting happening here and there nice and simple looking lighting scheme and the farms are continued our nether rack has got uh, quite big a bit more lighted bushes here and down here to the mead house nothing's much changed here I uh, but of course not because I haven't been on but uh, it's still there and open for everyone to use so I think somebody's done a nice nice job with these trees here especially like the torch in the middle of them that's uh, that's all looking good and I think oh yeah penultimately there's one more thing I need to show you after this but penultimately we have a really really nice monument now to uh, that's the spawn point that's where we all started that looks the business I think somebody's really put some time and effort in there and I'm gonna run away from that creeper before it decides that what that place really needs is to be blown up so yes um, last time I did a tour I didn't go into one person's place and I got uh, asked why didn't I go into well actually it was more why didn't you go into my place and the reason is that I had actually totally forgotten about it down here down here under the sea we have Neptune sorry we have DF's little palace and come down here and down here and down here and you have to this checkerboard throne room with DF stuff here and his massive throne in the middle of it. I'm going to sit on his throne. Oh, look! I'm just, I'm just feeling sort of magisterial and powerful and wanting to talk like this because I'm here. This is, oh, it's just fantastic. Yeah, and going down further still, and then a little bit up because why not? It looks like it's this. Uh, yeah, down to DF's mines. There's no real need to go and have a look in there. So we won't. And down here. There is nothing to see here. Go, there's nothing to see here. Go back to where you came. Uh, God damn, did you not listen? Go back, I tell you. Well, of course, that's going to stop me, really, isn't it? 
You shall not pass. Yes, I shall. So let's let's pass. One more. There we go. Oh, and a big jump and a big jump. There we go. And well, that was entirely not worth it, wasn't it? Okay. Right. Let's put all this stuff back. Well, somebody notices that I get in trouble. No, nope, that's the wrong place. So and that is DF's mighty palace of mightiness. And uh, not bad at all. I don't know what he's going to be doing up there, but I'm sure we will find out fairly soon. So there you go, DF. I've looked at your house now, and it's a mighty place. I'm really impressed. This is. Especially the throne. Do love the throne. That's 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 really good. Uh, I'm interested to see what the RC does with this place. If he does anything else with this place, of course. If he doesn't, I won't be that impressed. But no, no, I will be impressed. And yep, back to here. We got this stone brick ascension out of the water into this this glassy area, and then back outside. So, all in all, DF, very impressive. Let's see what it looks like from the outside. Ooh, quite like that. Okay, okay, and we've passed. We've looked in torts before. So, that's pretty much as is now. So. What should we do? I think I know what we should do. Um, I'm going, I want to do some work on this mob drop here. See if I can get this a bit further along. And if you like guys like, you can come along with me. So the first thing, um, just show this to you guys again. That's where the, the mobs will spawn. And down here is where they will drop to. And eventually I want to put a conveyor system in here to get all this stuff from the drop that will happen down here. So we'll catch it in hoppers, we'll bring it along here, sort it along the way, and then bring it up to the top there where there will be a shop and people can just take what they want. But seeing as this is a, a server with a cash economy, I'm going to ex expect a small gratuity for it. So, all right. So this is this is the uh, this is the mob drop area, and the mobs will spawn up here where the torches are. And this is this is the same. If you've been watching any of my other series, you've probably seen this a dozen times already. So um, I don't bore you with the details too much. Just to say that uh, we need to get some trapdoors on the edges here and some water in here but I want to be able to turn this particular set, uh, system on and off and in order to do that I'm going to need to put some lights in the walls so uh, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to put some redstone lamps in I'm going to put them in up here and then I want to put circuitry on the outside of this so that uh, I can flick a switch in here wait a couple of minutes and then come in knowing that most of the mobs are, are gone and they won't spawn so I can and it's just gonna be easier to come in and service this place or turn it off if I decide I don't want it to be running at this particular point so what I need is some glowstone which I don't have and some redstone which I do so let's go and just make sure I got the stuff I need let's go and get some glowstone and to do that we need to go in the nether I shall see you guys there well the first thing I notice is that quite a bit of work has been done in here I'm quite impressed this is looking rather nice cobblestone materials that are indeed cobblestone materials there's another chest there with some bits and pieces in it None of which we want, unfortunately. So let's push on and go and find some glowstone. Yeah, 
and here we have some glowstone of course I had to go where nobody's been before because what do you do the first thing in the area you, you steal the glowstone so let's just put a, a torch up here to remind me that that's the way out and get ourselves some of this glowstone which of course has to be over large amounts of lava doesn't it of course of course of course right let's get this sorted out Okay, that's given us nine glowstone. That's probably enough, to be totally honest with you. I don't feel the urge to go out there and get some more of that. But what I will do is I will just hunt a little bit longer. And if I find some glowstone, I shall bring you guys back in. If not, I shall see you back in the real world. But in the meantime, Quartz is always welcome. Okay, here we are back in the real world, and I confess to feeling a little bit grumpy here because right after we were speaking last, um, I managed to dump a load of lava on my head and kill myself, lose all the stuff that I'd got, and my silk touch pickaxe. So that's all gone. But never mind. It's time for us to get this going and then I think we're going to call it an episode then. So we need to dig around here. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we dig nine in this direction and we do it here. Okay, we've dug our hole around here with little holes on the side where I want the lamps to go and we can put those in get some redstone oh, hold on. need to make our glowstone blocks first because I lost my uh, I lost my silk touch pickaxe when I died and it's not going to be quite enough redstone but it's going to be enough for me to show what I want to do here so what we'll do here is we put these lamps in like this going around Like that, so I'm going to need to make another one, two more. Put a bit of fire in there, I'll have that later on. And then, let's just make ourselves a quick lever. So if we, if we, uh, Put that in our inventory so if we put the block up here and the lever on the other side we flow the switch what we need to do now is connect this switch up to the redstone lamps all the way around and we should do that using a trail of redstone dust and repeaters and i'm not going to let show you laying it out i'm going to lay it out and then i'll show you what it looks like and then i'm just going to seal it all up and the job will be done so i'm going to cut out now and i'll cut back in when i've done that so i'll see you in a sec right so there you have it before i break this up just to let you guys see uh what i've done here is the switch goes to a line of redstone and repeaters and where the torches are there's just a little branch of redstone out and that goes all the way around here and 
tell you what. Just get rid of some of these torches. Like this. And oh that pickaxe definitely needs repairing, doesn't it? Just darken this room down a bit. So that's all of them. That's the last two here. Okay, so there's no torches lit in this room now. It's all lit by those redstone lamps. So if I I flick the t switch, it all goes dark. Mobs can spawn in here now. And when I want to come in here and do stuff, I flick the switch, it lights up, mobs cannot spawn. Just going to make things a little bit easier. So let's just brick this all in. And then there's that job done. I just want to finish this area off, which is just a case of putting in a load of trap doors around the edges and water in all the right places. And you guys don't need to see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out again now and I will bring you back when it's done. And we've just set this the final bits and pieces up and you can see it in action okay that's all of this done just need to do the fun bit in the middle knock a hole in through this earth here without falling in right let's get out of here go down the bottom and do the trap bit See you down there. Walled that up because there's no real need for doors to be in place. So now we have to do here is first of all rescue our precious, precious earth. That one doesn't want to be rescued. Suit yourself. And we've got too many hoppers and not enough chests. So let's put this down. I think I know what I did there. Turned all my chest into hoppers. So let's just make ourselves a couple of chests. And they need to go here and here. And actually. Hmm. And we need to put some hoppers down. Shift click them so they. Oh, that's wrong. Well, nobody can doubt that the hoppers don't work. Let me just make a quick hole in the wall here. Jump up here. Then it's so much easier to shift click these. And we'll do the same here. So we put a chest there, a hopper, and a hopper. We need to make a hole there so we can get out. Fill that hole in. And actually, you know what? Let's put that face in this way. No real reason, just it looks nicer. So I mean, what I need to do here now is just fill this hole in here. And do I have any slabs? Yeah, I have some slabs, great, that's good. So that way if anything does survive, it's forced to stay here and just 
live here until it respawns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that be. That is the Arcadia um, dropper. I'm going to leave that be. We'll come back in the next episode and see how much we've made. If we haven't made any, then we know there's going to be a problem. But how all of these I've made have worked so far, so I think we should be all right. So that's it. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been the Arcadia server reborn once more. And that was its mobs to drop her. Mobs bits will be built around it. So until the next time, thank you and good night. Good night.